tem fogo. Tá conditioning program superstar athletes like Jerry Rice of the San Francisco 49ers and Cal Ripken Jr. of the Baltimore Orioles say it's been crucial to the success of their careers and slugger Mo Vaughn agrees that's why he hired Pete Rapoli to help him out with his fitness training he's all about power you know all about power Red Sox first baseman Mo Vaughn and his personal trainer Pete Rapoli of Major League Fitness in Stoughton, Massachusetts have teamed up for the past five years. This rigorous workout routine is year-round. We're doing an in-season uh, circuit training program. Oh. Works hard every year. But we do the same type stuff, you know, year in and year out. There's no way we can't be as consistent as, as we have been over the years if we weren't doing now you know how we get back to knee surgery in two and a half weeks. Wait till we start getting them pumps. Four more, three more, two more. You want to do a set? It's too early in the morning. So we don't want to let people know about our tower. It's just it's one of our own secrets. Um, come on. Last one, all the way up now. heavy weight because I always want to get big you know and the more reps we do and the lighter the weight and the better the form the more intensity and, and thickness the muscles gonna get instead of working out all of the bulk and doing less reps we do more reps because the muscle endurance that's how we don't get hurt so we don't stop no we never do that's how we practice going over the green monster going opposite field now oh. wow Oh, he's working out, getting strong, but at the same time, he's burning off calories. This is my favorite machine. You don't get much of a rest. Keep the heart rate going, you know? Now, come on, Cap, drive it up. Get it up. Good. We're a team together, both of us, you know. Everybody's made a lot of statements and been critical of our situation and how we, and we and, you know, we're taking it partially a little bit. Great. Hold up there. Four. Get Five. Two more, come on, drive it up. I can go anywhere I want in the world with him. As long as he can go with me and pick me up and do what he's got to do, and we come in here, we can play on Mars if we have to. But if Boston fans have their way, the hit dog will be staying a lot closer to home. The reason why he does this is so he stays strong throughout the whole year, you know? Uh, so he doesn't break down. Like I said he had a knee injury last year. Um, he was only out for two and a half weeks. That's because he's strong, he's solid. But what Mo's all about is he's about power. And you can see in the workouts. We don't have to do this, you know what I mean? I know a lot of guys, you know, in my position who, you know, could just get up and go to the park and come home. But we want to be at a certain level. We want to go out and produce. So we got to do more each year and year out. And that's the way we look at it. If Mo Vaughn needs a little added motivation in his workout, all he has to do is look at his new teammate, Dennis Eckersley. He's got a grueling conditioning program, and you can see that it's paid off. Reporting for Front Row, I'm Debbie Robleski in Fort Myers. Back to you. Two, three, four, how to work. 
Stoughton, Massachusetts native Peter Rapoli heads up Major League Fitness Therapy and Personal Training. He is best known for keeping Anaheim Angel slugger Mo Vaughn in shape. I can go anywhere I want in the world with him. As long as he can go with me and pick me up and do what he's got to do, and we come in here, we can play on Mars if he has to. Major League Physical Therapy and Personal Training is definitely one of Boston's best kept secrets. Just ask 1980 Olympic gold medalist Jim Craig. He works out with Peter Rapoli here at the World Gym in Walpole on a regular basis. I wasn't sure working out with him how it would be at first, but he's a really nice guy. We got a great friendship. Uh, I also work with his brother Danny, and that's how I met him. His brother Danny had knee surgery. And uh, the physical therapist that I'm associated with, my partner, had me do some strength and exercise with Danny, and it helped him a real lot. And then Danny referred me to Jimmy, because Jimmy had a little shoulder injury. So we worked that out, too, and now he's doing all right. And we're working out a couple days a week, and it's, real, it's a lot of fun. After the 1980 Olympics, Jim Craig had a brief stint in the NHL, which included 23 games with the Bruins. Although he no longer plays professionally, keeping fit is a top priority. Uh, Jim right now still plays some night hockey, so basically what we're doing right now is just a cardiovascular conditioning workout with Jim, trying to get him in shape, you know, um, he's in really good shape right now for his age, you know, he's doing really well, and it's very important for people to stay in shape, to keep their heart healthy, you know, so they can live long, lasting life. I'm playing in a, an over 40 league as a forward, and uh, you know, I can see Peter's work is really paying off, and but he, he's very, very knowledgeable, and he can relate to any group, whether it's the elite athlete or it's the, the mom who's just put her kids to school and are trying to get back in shape or just learning how to be in shape and what to eat. So uh, he's really terrific. I tell everybody consistency is a key. You got to stay consistent in this game or you can't play it. Peter's nickname is the workout Nazi. Do 10 with each leg, press out one set of 10. One, two, good. Three, good. How'd it work? Four, five, six, seven. There we go. What I'm really impressed with is his commitment to his work. I mean, here's a guy that I'm fortunate enough to be associated with when not everybody knows about him, and I'm really happy about that because his time is going to be booked very quickly. And so you're getting more out of it? It's a lot of fun working with professional athletes, but there's all different types of people that come in that I enjoy working with. I have an older couple that comes in. They're in the late 70s, and they're a lot of fun. We work out together. Um, I have a lot of, uh, I have a lawyer that I train, uh, some doctors that might come in that I work out with. Also, I have a lot of housewives that I train uh, that have kids and everything else. It, it works out really great. They've lost a lot of weight with me. They enjoy coming to see me. We work them hard. It's kind of like we're a team. We work out together. It's a lot of fun. Anybody else that I've ever worked with always intimidates you, and Peter just makes you so you feel really comfortable, and then you want to learn, and you ask questions, and before you know it, you can actually do a workout that's good for you by yourself, and that's the, I think that's a huge advantage that Peter gives us. He deserves a gold medal, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I told him I'm getting out of the sports museum. We're going to put it around his neck, and him and I are going to take pictures because uh, he's really helped quite a bit. Yeah, I want one of those too, definitely. Okay, last one here, and then you got drive it out. Good, and relax. Good. Good. Take a break. Broncos defense keeping Gannon under pressure most of the night. Again, some trouble. It's tipped, and Bill Romanowski has the interception. New England kid comes up with the INT, keeps it 23-7. to And Brister just doing a good job handing the ball off. This is Derek Lavelle, who leads in for the two-yard touchdown. Tough night for Marty Schottenheimer and the Chiefs. They lose it 30-7. to The Broncos improved to 10-0, and the first team to do that since the 1991 Washington Redskins. I've sat many times in a post-game press gathering like this. I've been disappointed and I've been frustrated. But I have to tell you, I'm embarrassed.
embarrassed and I'm humiliated. I'm apologizing to you, to this community, because I'm embarrassed. We'll stick with the NFL for sports shorts, and this is terrible news for the Oakland Raiders. Cornerback Eric Allen is out for the season. The six-time Pro Bowler suffered a torn ACL in his left knee and is scheduled to have season-ending surgery later this week. Hey, a pretty big trade is brewing between the Phillies and Cardinals. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, the Cardinals will trade outfielder Ron Gant, veteran reliever Jeff Brantley, and a minor league prospect to the Phillies in exchange for reliever Ricky Vitalico and a marginal major league prospect. And finally, there is a bidding war going on for baseball's tallest pitcher, Randy Johnson. But if you want the second tallest pitcher, you can get him a whole lot cheaper. Salem, Massachusetts native Jeff Juden was released yesterday by the Anaheim Angels, his 17th in six major league seasons. And that's going to wrap up our show for today. A sad day for the Bruins. As Cam Neely officially calling it quits this morning, we'll have more on that tomorrow here on Nesson Sports Desk. Until then, thanks for watching, everyone. And for all of us here at Nesson, we hope you have a great Tuesday. Meet Charlie Moore. Okay, 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 okay. I'm excited with the camera on You're or with the camera I off. Understand. Did I tell you I hand that a shot? I missed another one. Get the, get the, I'm going for the fish. Aren't there special programs for people like him? Apparently so. And if you want to see some of the best fishing in New England, there's only one place to be. Right here with me every Monday night in the front row. The English Premier League has arrived. Fox Sports Net has the biggest stars in international soccer and the legendary league's most famous clubs. Plus, up to the minute news and reports from the greatest soccer circuit in the world. This week, the Anfield assassin Michael Owen leads Liverpool against surprise title challengers Aston Villa. English Premier League Soccer, Sunday at 7 on Nesson. The boys from the Big Easy have been unbeatable. Now, Houston invades the Superdome looking to end Sean King and Tulane's quest for an undefeated season. Houston Tulane, Saturday at 3 on Nesson. teams of athletes that have trained and trained and drank and trained and drank. Good job, guys. All right, there's a regular season, there's playoffs, and in the end, there'll be one champion. All right, Atlanta, Minnesota, you guys know the rules. You throw a ball at the big board, I'll ask you questions from the category you hit. If there's any problems about where the ball's hit, that's when we turn to this woman. It's Amy Miller, right here, our line judge. Wearing the black and white that a good referee should be wearing. All right, Atlanta, you are the visiting team, so go ahead and throw the first ball to start us off on the greatest game ever played. Do it! He wants baseball, though. <laughs> Who's taking the Mariners deep? The Mariners' bullpen, is it best? Bad? 
All right. Watch your monitors and listen to Paul call this tater. And there's the thrower. And it's up. And it is good for the extra point. <laughs> Minnesota Kurt. Uh, Eric Davis. Eric Davis is right. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Again, watch your monitors and listen to Paul's knowledge. And he hit a home run! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Got him anti-climactic. Uh, Minnesota, Kurt. Robin Ventura. Is correct, yes. Robin Ventura. All right. One more time. Watch the monitor. Listen. And it's a right uppercut to the chin. The mirrors are down. They're down for the count. One, two, three. <laughs> Atlanta, Brendan. Lee Stevens. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, all right. Everybody's on the board now. Sky 3-3. Three, three. Nicely done, Paul. All right, Atlanta, you're throwing a ball at the big board. Olympics, Bill. Olympic homelands. I'll name an athlete. You tell me what country they represented in the Olympics. Wayne Gretzky. Minnesota Kirk. Canada. Yes. In what sports? For two points, Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Minnesota Matt. Spain. Spain is right, yes. Tennis. For three points, Kai Soon. Minnesota Kurt. Japan. Incorrect. Atlanta, Brenner or Kathy, care to give it a go? You must buzz in, of course. No? Korea. Oh, Korea. Judo. She is a judo. Olympian. All right, Minnesota, you're throwing the ball. You give us the last correct answer. Go ahead. Right in the middle. And right in the middle. Football. football, you. Identify the following college gridironers through their lists of things to do. Wash coach, Spurrier's car, win 96 Heisman and national championship. Think of ways to suck in NFL. Atlanta, Kathy. Danny Ruffle. That's right, yeah. Yeah. For two points. Play Ms. Pac-Man at Ohio State Student Union. Shop for condoms. Rush for 100 yards in NCAA record 31 consecutive times. Call Dad Collect. Atlanta Brennan. Archie Griffin. Archie Griffin is right. All right, here's the big one for three points. Go barefoot to A&M party. Kick 64 and 65-yard field goals against Baylor by case of ramen noodles. Oh, those are good. Minnesota Matt. Tony Franklin. Yeah, all right, well done. We're all knotted up at six. Minnesota, you're throwing a ball. Hockey. You hit hockey. Nicknames. What hockey player is also known as the Rocket? Minnesota Matt. Maurice Richard. Yes. Easy. Yeah. For two points. Cujo. Minnesota Matt. Curtis Joseph. Yes. See how that works? And for three points. Cheesy. Cheesy? Gary Cheevers. Gary Cheevers. Oh, Gary... oh, and that bell means what, Paul? Oh, Bill, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've just signed on as an organ donor, and they've come for my kidney. <laughs> that was worth it. All yes. right. <laughs> Score right now. Minnesota 9, Atlanta 6. We'll be back with the rest of round one right after this. <laughs> Ultimate Fan League on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Sam Adams. It's what's inside. No words are ever exchanged. Just a chemical connection from afar. A click, a zap, and poof. Your destiny passes you by. How many times is she going to slip through your fingers? How many more chances are you going to get? This train is leaving the station, Slugger. Are you on board? Or what? Every day's a test. Those who pass deserve a great beer. Sam Adams. It's what's inside. There's a place where you can go the distance and enjoy the ride. Where you belong to your imagination. And nothing else matters. There's a place where you can be yourself. No matter who you are. And do what you want to do. Just for the fun of it. Welcome to the club. 
K-Swiss. 8,000 mutual funds. And everybody's looking for a winner. But chasing the latest hot fund won't get you anywhere. To pick a mutual fund, find out how they pick their stocks. At Janus, they pick stocks one at a time. They investigate companies like nobody else and invest in the most promising ones. That's how you get there. Janus Mutual Funds. I've asked Patty to show you how easy it is to use 1010-9000, the only number you need to get directory assistance anywhere in America. Watch. Patty just dials 1010-9000 and tells the operator whose number she wants. Leslie Weller, Denver. The operator finds the number, even offers to dial it with no connection charge. No connection charge? Sure, dial it for me. With 1010-9000, it's that easy. 1010-9000, directory assistance for everyone in America. 120 top teams in the only college basketball game for the Nintendo 64. Fox Sports College Hoops 99. Sports games, Fox Attitude. Well, you caught us in the middle of round one. Score right now, Minnesota 9, Atlanta 6. Time to meet our contestants. Representing Midwest Sports Channel for Minnesota, it's Matt and Kurt. How you doing? Hey, Come on! Come on! It's the land of 10,000 lakes, Matt. Yes, you knew that, is. didn't you? I knew that. How many have you seen? Oh, I've seen probably a couple hundred of them now. Oh, uh, well, that's not, not very many, many is no. it? What's your favorite lake? Oh, it's got to be Lake Harriet. Lake and how many lakes uh, in Minnesota does Kevin Garnett own? Oh, boy. <laughs> right now, he probably doesn't own many, but I think he has bought all the fish. Wow. I don't... What does that mean? I don't know. I'm not sure. Whatever you I'm want not to sure do. at all. Brendan and Kathy, representing Fox Sports South from Atlanta. Welcome. Yeah. There you go. Brendan, give me your most embarrassing sports moment. Embarrassing sports moment. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, it's definitely back in high school, uh, running track in the late 80s. Uh, those skimpy shorts you got to run in anyway. <laughs> yeah. Making the second turn of the 200-meter relay, and something came out of the shorts that shouldn't have. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did oh, you yeah. keep running proudly? Kept on running way back there. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Wait a second. It came out, and you kept running. <laughs> and what happened? How'd you finish? Uh, about 10 yards back, and uh, the... Red Maybe you should have streaked for the, to be in front of the pack. <laughs> <laughs> would you call that finishing by a nose, or would it be? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I guess you'd have to let Brendan answer that, Paul. <laughs> I'll skip that one. That's some kind. Yeah. Let's all. All right. All right. Uh, Minnesota, you got the possession arrow, so you're throwing the uh, you're throwing the ball at the board. You're up nine to six. Do it. Basketball. All right. Hey, speaking of which, were we just talking about this? <laughs> when balls were blue and red and white. Answer the following questions about the ABA. He skipped college to do what every schoolboy dreams of, play for the ABA's Utah Stars. What center later won three MVPs with the Rockets and Sixers? Minnesota Kurt. Moses Malone? Yeah, Big Mo is right. <laughs> He was seven foot two, not including his gigantic afro. Named the former Kentucky Colonel and five-time ABA All-Star Center, who later played for the Bulls. Atlanta Brendan. Swen Nader. No. Minnesota Kurt. How about Artis Gilmore? Yeah, Swen Nader. <laughs> Swen Nader had a gigantic afro for like a day, I think, and then he got. He won a scoring title in a pair of championships with the ABA Pacers, but had trouble adjusting to the orange ball in the NBA. Name this former 76er forward. Anybody? George McGinnis. George oh. McGinnis. All right, Minnesota, you're throwing. Go ahead. George McGinnis. More basketball, Bill. All right, Amy makes the call. Uh, watch Amy as she imitates her favorite referee and tell me what call she's signaling. For one point, Amy, do it. Minnesota, Kurt. Foul. Uh, I need more specific, please. Foul on the arm? No. Holding? Uh, Atlanta? Mm -hmm. Brendan? Holding. Holding is correct, yeah. I had to accept foul on the arm, Kurt. I'm sorry. All right, Amy, go ahead. Atlanta, Brendan? Time out. More specific, please. Uh, 20 second timeout. That is correct, yes. Yes! All right. And for three points, aim. Ah. 
Minnesota Kurt. Five seconds. No. Atlanta Brennan or Kathy? Anybody? Buzzing? No? Illegal defense. Ooh. Illegal defense. Illegal defense. Wow. All right, Atlanta, possession arrow points to you. Oh, and that bell means we're too cheap to buy a horn. No. <laughs> it's time for the home team challenge. Home team challenge. Bop, bop, bop. Teams can earn big points just by answering uh, questions about their home teams. Now, let's see. Atlanta, you are trailing by a point, so you get the first crack at either 5, 10, or 15-point question. 15-point most difficult. What do you choose? We're going to go with 10, Bill. 10. Yes, like men. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> For 10 points, what quarterback did the Falcons pick in the second round of the 91 draft? Here's some music to help you. Brett Favre. Brett Favre is right, yeah. 10 simple points. That brings you up to 17, Minnesota. You can jump back in the lead. 5, 10, or 15 points. We're going to go 15. 15. Yeah, we like that. Yeah. For 15 points, other than Burt Blylevin and Frank Viola, what pitcher started for the Twins in the 87 World Series? That'd be Les Straker. Yeah, you bet it is. The legendary Les Straker. Wow. With a gutsy 15-point wager, Minnesota jumps back in the lead. They're leading Atlanta 23-17. to 17. We'll be right back with round two. Don't go anywhere. Sports news and information, shoot for the Nesson hat trick. Score news and highlights all morning long with Nesson Sports Desk. Our sports cast, your schedule, seven days a week. For New England's only nightly sports magazine show, nothing gets you closer than front row every night at 6. For a complete look at the world of sports, including regional pre- and post-game updates, check out Fox Sports News. Weeknights at 6.30 and 10, weekends at 10. Take your best shot. You're sure to score with the Nesson hat trick. Nesson. We got game. Over 60 of them. It's Pac-10. Big 10. Big East. Big time. Round ball, round hole. Nothing but that. On Nesson. And every year, I think I've become more addicted to it. The crowd wants to see people think. I can't believe how many takes this has taken me. Snowman takes me like two oh, point six. your home team like our all-pro lineup highlights insights every night catch the nfl on fox sports news weeknights check local listings welcome back to round two of the ultimate fan league where that commercial break allowed the actors that are playing our contestants enough time to learn their lines bill <laughs> all right paul it's round two all questions are worth twice as many points score right now minnesota 23 atlanta 17. We got ourselves a good game going on. Minnesota, you are throwing the first ball at the big, colorful board. Wants basketball, Bill. Sounds good to me. Imaginary trades. Name the two teams involved in these fictitious swaps. 
David Robinson and Tim Duncan for Buck Williams. Minnesota, Kurt. San Antonio and New York. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> for four points, Derek Anderson for Kenny Anderson and an Anderson to be named later. Minnesota? Yes, Minnesota. Kurt, you got in. Cleveland and New Jersey. Incorrect. Atlanta, give it a rip. Brendan? Uh, Cleveland and Boston. That is correct, yeah. yeah. Oh, tie game. That was a four point, that was an eight point swing. Ben Wallace and Chris Whitney for Chris Weber and a packet of papers. Who calls him a packet of papers? Give me some wraps. That's what you say to the uh, Washington Wizards and Sacramento Kings. You don't say give me a packet of papers. You go give me some wraps. All right, go ahead, Atlanta. You throw the ball to the big board. Football right in the middle. Football it is. Speed ball, speed ball. Everybody ball. Wow, lamely done, audience. <laughs> All right. Uh, these are worth uh, two points each. Atlanta. In 10 seconds, name as many 1998 opening day AFC head coaches as you can. Amy, 10 seconds, please. 10 seconds, Bill. Go. Bill Parcells. Parcells. Jimmy Johnson. Bill Cower. Um. Uh -huh. uh, you got three. You got three. Three deliberate, slow answers. Well done. Pete Carroll, Bruce Coslett, Jim Mora, Marty Schottenheimer, Mike Shanahan. You got three. Six points. Not bad. Right. Not too shabbos. All right. You are uh, still throwing, Brendan, so go ahead. <laughs> baseball. All right. Come on, everybody. Pump it up, contestants. All right. Where are they finished? With what team did the following major leaguers end their playing careers? Roger Maris. Minnesota Matt. St. Louis Cardinals. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah now we're getting it, huh? Here we go. Catfish Hunter. Atlanta Brendan. New York Yankees. That's right, yeah. 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 Oh, can you feel it building? Tom Seaver. Atlanta Brendan. Chicago White Sox. No! Minnesota Matt or Kurt? No, thank you. The Red Sox. The Red Sox. Yeah, the Red Sox. The Red Sox. Go ahead, Brendan, throw a ball at the board. All right. Well, you say all right, but you haven't thrown it. All right. Mystery sports. Nerds who play sports. Remember, if anybody sweeps this category, it's all three right. It's an extra five points. We all hate nerds, but the ones who play sports, we hate a little less. Identify these famous Ivy Leaguers. What Princeton nerd helped lead the Knicks to new heights from 67 to 77 before becoming a born-again nerd as a U.S. Senator? Uh, Minnesota, Kurt. Bradley. Bill Bradley is right, yeah. All right. For four points, name the Cornell Big Red alum who took the SAT seriously in 1983 and took home the NHL Rookie of the Year award in 1988. Oh. Uh, Minnesota, Matt, you got in on time. Joe Neuendijk. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. It's a buzzer. Oh, it's getting exciting. Al Gore and Tommy Lee Jones are both famous Harvard alums, but neither of them can skate like this guy. What former Crimson skater won silver for the USA in Albertville? Minnesota, you can sweep. Atlanta? Paul Wiley. Oh, nobody sweeps the mystery sport category. Disappointing, but we'll get over it. Minnesota, go ahead and throw a ball at the big board. Don't let the momentum drop. Hockey. Helmets are for wusses. Even after the NHL made helmets mandatory, some guys thought they looked way cooler without them. While this long-haired guy looked pretty cool skating without a lid, he looks much cooler now next to his wife, supermodel Kim Alexis. Who is this ex-ranger? Atlanta Brennan. Messier. No. Minnesota? No. Ron Duguay. Duguay. All right. For four points. Going helmetless is cool. Being the last guy in the NHL to go helmet list might make you the coolest guy ever. Who holds this distinction? Minnesota Matt. That would be Craig McTavish. That's right, yeah. <laughs> All right, for big six. Like a ball player who stops chewing tobacco after he gets lip cancer, what Flyers defenseman donned a helmet in 88 after a huge fall to the ice knocked him out cold? No? Anybody? Brad Marsh. Brad, I fell down and hit my head, Marsh. All right. 
Oh, and that bell means it's the end of round two. We got ourselves a pretty good game going on here. Minnesota 33, Atlanta 23. Coming back, we got the two-minute warning where anything can happen. But before that, we're going to find out what the losers are going to take home with them. Casio phone mates 900 megahertz DSS cordless phone with call waiting and caller ID. Uses the Rockwell chip technology. For the ultimate range, clarity, and security, only from Casio phone mate. Yo, man, it's Lisa Mendy. Translation. Let's record our favorite songs on mini disc. Our track five got no flavor. Perhaps we should delete this selection. Man, you guys don't put the spins, yo. Cassettes are hurt. Unlike cassettes, I can move tracks. I re-record digitally up to a million times. Yo, this is Ellen like a villain. Super Macadocious killing off the his own dig out. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> Sony Mini Disc, the digital way to record your music. Available at Sears. This holiday season, be sure to get that special someone the gift they really want. The most intense PlayStation game ever. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil, the director's cut. Now supports two shot and log in order. Yo! Yes, sir. Yes. Can't get enough peanuts? Get right on it. Goodbye, sir. Get a payday. Sweet caramel and tons of salty peanuts. Because different employees have many different jobs. Because those many different jobs have many different uniform and apparel needs. Because those many needs... Relax. It's apparel one and done. Aramark introduces the apparel one process. It begins with assessing your needs. Then, we'll help you design a customized uniform and apparel program. So your employees get the right apparel and your company gets the right program. The new apparel one process. Only from Aramark. Because you don't need the hassles. Hi, I'm expecting a fax. Room 212 wants the ammunition to deal with her toughest clients. Nothing. Hi, Hi. Davies 212. I called earlier. Right, fax. It hasn't come yet. I need it for a meeting. Excuse me, Miss Davies? Oh, just came in. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Business services by Marriott. When you're comfortable, you could do anything. From Fox Sports Net Films, a dream team, a nightmare season. Between the Madness premieres Thanksgiving at 8 on Fox Sports Net. information, call the Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress at 1-800-664-MDSC. Welcome back. Now time for the two-minute warning. That's where we find out if our players have any knowledge in their heads besides sports. Here's how it works. I'll ask a question, a sports question worth 10 points. Then I'll follow that up with a related non-sports question. We call that the get a life question. That's worth only five points. It's worth less because it's not about sports. At the end of this hard-fought game, we will have a winner, and here's what the winners will get. Third Drawer Snowboards, designed by snowboarders born to rip. No trendy gimmicks here, just boards built with quality and a love for the sport. I'm the net at 5xs.com, Third Drawer Snowboards. I've never seen such a thing. Fantastic. <laughs> Score right now. Minnesota 33, Atlanta 23, anybody's game. Give me two minutes on the clock, please, Amy. Two minutes, Bill. All right. Good luck to all. Go. What home team plays in the house that Ruth built? Atlanta, Brendan. New York Yankees. Yes. yes. What, what home girl burned down the house that Andre Risen built? Atlanta, Kathy. Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> what NFL team plays their home games at Lambeau Field? Minnesota Mac. Packers. Yes. What country's capital is Reykjavik? Atlanta, Brendan. Iceland. Yes. What is the name of the new stadium where the Atlanta Braves play? Atlanta, Kathy. Turner Field. Yes. Spell egomaniac. Brendan. E-G-O-M-A-N-I-A-C. That is correct, yes. What Hoya accidentally passed the ball to the wrong team in the final moments of the 1982 NCAA Finals? Brendan, Atlanta. Sleepy Floyd. No, incorrect. 
Minnesota Kurt. Fred Brown. Yes. Complete this Forrest Gump line. Stupid is as Brendan Stupid Atlanta. Stupid does. Yes. What Maryland quarterback was drafted by the Bengals in 1984? Minnesota Curtin. Boomer Sison. Yes. Yes. What new wave band had hits with Heart of Glass and Tide is High? Atlanta Kathy. Blondie. Yes. yes. What Orioles manager was replaced after only six games in 1988? Minnesota Curtin. Cal Ripken Sr. Yes. <laughs> what Pope was replaced after only 34 days in 1978? John Paul won! Besides Craig Council, named the lone remaining Marlin who started Game 7 of the 1997 World Series. Minnesota Kurt. Renteria. Yes. In 1912, Captain Edward Smith went down with what sinking ship? Atlanta Kathy. Titanic. Yes. According to his press kit, Anaheim right winger Solani has a... Oh, that's all the time we have for today! And Minnesota holds on! All right, Atlanta, you're up against Seattle in just a few days. In Minnesota, you got a few weeks off to uh, bone up on stats before you face Detroit, so start boning. All right, that's all the time we have here on the Ultimate Fan League. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, everybody. The UFO Championship game will pit sports trivia titans against each other. Whoever loses that epic battle will pack the new luggage we give them and celebrate their second fiddleness in style when they win. All is yours at the Hilton Waikoloa Village on Hawaii's Big Island, including golf each day on two magnificent oceanfront courses, rental car and continental breakfast. The Hilton Waikoloa on Hawaii's Big Island. The Yamaha Wave Runner GP760 combines high performance and great styling. America's favorite brand of personal watercraft. Only Wave Runners combine performance, handling, and styling. Nothing else is a Yamaha. provided by the Continental Plaza Los Angeles Airport Hotel. Our women's basketball schedule kicks off with SMU at Texas A&M tomorrow night, live at 8. program is a special presentation of Fox Sports Net. Tonight we're in what might be the last bastion of summer in America, Miami, Florida. It's hot outside and inside too. Come to you tonight from the Miccosukee Indian Gaming Pavilion, our opening bout of the evening featuring lightweights Ben Tacky against the local product Hicklet Lau. And in our main event, former WBC World Champion.